Hi Jordan, Chad here. This is the tutorial I made for you to help you understand how the Uber app works. So here we have, a, I have a picture here, a screenshot of the Uber app's uh, home screen. And once you uh, open the Uber app, you'll, you'll get a loading screen, and then you'll get this screen here. Now, it's an interactive uh, screen and you'll see it's a map and in the center of the map is where you are and it's going to be different and it's going to it's going to change as you drive around and then you'll you'll notice in the top top in the top there top left corner it says offline so while you're in this screen you can do a bunch of things and you won't get any calls it's when you go online that you'll start to get calls but in this screen you have acts you can do lots of things like check your earnings check your ratings and account stuff uh, once you want to start to work in the top right corner there's a little blue circle which you swipe to the right and that will that will make you go online once you're online you'll start getting calls in the top left corner you'll see the three white bars and that's this the settings that's important uh, button to press when you need information. In the top right corner, look at the blue circle. Now, to go online, you drag that to the right. Once you're online, the screen bar for the online status will be blue, and the, le the blue circle will be to the right and it will say online instead of offline and to go back offline you just swipe drag the blue circle back to the left again while you're online you you can get a call and an incoming call screen looks like this and when the call is incoming uh, it will be ringing so when you hear the ringing uh, look at the screen and you'll see this and uh, the, it's got a couple things here. It uh, tells you um, how far away the caller is, their address, and their rating. And then, and then there's uh, the call. Incoming calls last a minute. And um, the blue circle, the blue circle around the picture will deplete as the time runs out. To accept the call, you just touch the screen pretty much anywhere. Um, to decline the call, you just touch the screen where it says no thanks or decline. Um, yep. Once you accept a call, the Uber app will look something like this. And so here is, um, here I am. This is, a. Uh, have just, um, picked up some food and this is Uber Eats order and now I have to go drop off the food so there's a lot of information here in the very top left it's going to tell you what your next turn is how far away it, that turn is uh, and then you've got the address of where you're going and in this case I'm dropping the food off an apartment building and the address is 450 Walmer Road and the, the, the rider has been very good and they've managed to put department number and their buzzer code all in in that screen there so that's a very good customer sometimes you know they don't have that information you, you gotta call them um, which you can do um, once you start a trip you can call the rider or they can call you um, I'll, I'll talk more about that later but to do that you press the three bars in the top right corner to get to call them or get some more information about them. Uh, what else is there? Um, there's a in the bottom left corner. There's a button that you can press that says navigate, and that will copy the address to your GPS. The Uber app doesn't have any audio for your turns, so if you c use your GPS, you'll have the audio to help you uh, navigate. And in the bottom left, it's telling you what you're doing. Once you get to the address that the person who called you, 
the Uber app will change and there will be this screen with the start trip button available for you to press. Once you they get into your car, then you swipe the start trip. It's a swipe. Um, if you press it, nothing will happen. You have to swipe. So you drag your finger across from the left to, to the right. That's what the arrow means. Dropping a person off works the same way as picking them up and traveling to a destination. However, there's something you should know. Once you get close to the destination of dropping a person off, the Uber app starts looking for your next trip. So it is possible you could get a call while you're in a trip. If you do not want to get any more calls, then you can tell the Uber app to stop looking for requests. To tell the Uber app to stop looking for new requests, press the three bars they will be in the top right corner or the top left corner. After pressing the three bars, you'll get a screen like this. To, to tell Uber not to find any new trips, you, you press the rectangle beside going offline. That will check it off and then you will not get any more trips after you finish your current one. This screen also, as you can see, it, has a contact button for you to call the customer and a cancel button in case you need to cancel. Once you reach the drop off location of the person you're dropping off or the food you're delivering, the end trip swipe will appear on the Uber app. To end the trip, you just swipe it. Then, if you're dropping off a person, you rate them. And that's it. You've done your first trip. This concludes the Uber app driver tutorial. My name is Chad Kern.